Meredith James. I met her at the Vermont Studio Centre this uh, summer. She's a fabulous artist and also a magician. Okay, so I'm not showing an object, I'm showing an optical phenomenon that I use in my work now. Um, is this video play? Yeah. Okay. So a few years ago, I was in a house in the country, and I noticed as the sunset and the light outside, or the light inside became brighter than the light outside, um, the reflection in the window of the living room that I was standing in sort of um, erased the landscape that you see through the window. And um, so I set up my camera and the next day, and. Um, and I filmed the camera, I, I set it up so you couldn't see that I was filming through a window, you just saw a landscape. And so slowly, over the course of the video, um, the image goes from a landscape to a camera filming in front of a white uh, sheet. And this is a very, very sped up version of this. This is, it was an hour and a half, but this is like a minute. And, um, it's interesting because when I when I played it back, I thought it looked exactly like a, a digital crossfade, actually, between uh, from one set of footage to another. But it wasn't. It was happening in real life. And I guess I I um, get a lot of inspiration from things uh, that we observe in our daily lives. That um, that you can start. It's fine. Um, things that we observe in our daily life that, given the context like we know we're looking through a window, they, they look normal, but actually they're very strange. Now this is, these are clips from a video I made with a friend named Jonathan Ehrenberg, and using um, a similar technique, this is actually um, a technique called Pepper's Ghost, and where uh, there's a piece of glass placed at an angle, so one set of, one, like so an object uh, reflected in the glass is overlaid on an object that you see through the glass, so we filmed a video using this technique, and we built this big setup in my studio, and we thought we'd film two <coughs> separate videos, except actually um, the setup sort of lent itself to collaboration because there, we, we decided to do these two equivalent sets of things, like a person wearing a lot of fruit, and then a, these two tree people, and so it was, we, we did this kind of doubling thing two sets of footage on top of each other. And we could have done something like this digitally, something very similar digitally, but there's something really mesmerizing about the way that footage looks in the final video. And I think that it, um, the quality of the sort of harmony and coordination that happens naturally when this is happening in real time um, just changes the way changes the feeling of the video. So even though we could have composed something like that digitally, it's like it wouldn't rely on chance and it's it's just a different it's a different working process. But this is the kind of thing I'm interested in, which is setting up a machine and then watching the way it plays out um, in a video. And in that case, in that video, that's it's part of a sort of mythological plot that we came up with. Um, anyway, so that's so I'm gonna show you Pepper's Ghost. So everyone can basically do this? Okay. So what's happening is um, there's there's some flowers and but now you're seeing both the the vase and the the 
visible in the, in, um, that you're seeing through the glass. So I'm just reversing. As the light changes, it's just you're seeing, sometimes seeing through the glass, and sometimes seeing the reflection. But I'll show you. So, so this is a theatrical effect that was invented in 1962 by John, um, no, by someone not named John Pepper. <laughs> it was invented by Henry Dierks uh, to make a semi-transparent ghost appear on stage in theatrical productions, but it was popularized by John Henry Pepper, <laughs> who found a way to incorporate the technique into existing theaters. And it's been used in film and museums and famously at Disney World in the Haunted Mansion. But I'll show you another thing to do with it. So, so you can also make like a ghost that <laughs> goes right through things that like you see on. And this is a little bit hard. You, uh, you guys can hear me, right? It's yeah. for the recording. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I don't, I can't actually see what's happening with my arm right now, but hopefully it's going through the bowl. <laughs> yeah, it is. Anyway, so if you build a stage, you can build a stage with a giant sheet of glass that intersects the stage at 45 degrees, and you can have ghosts sort of appear and disappear. And there were whole theaters built to, to do this, so I'll show you guys if you can see. Um, so if I stick my hand in here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is like remarkably easy and stupid this trick, except especially especially when it's um when it's when you film it, it's really, really hard to see what's going on. Like it's really hard to understand the, the way it works physically. Or when I'm trying to move it around, like when I was trying to move the other bowl to match this bowl, it's like I'm not sure what direction to move it because the reflection is it's counterintuitive. But anyway, so this is an effect that I find really, um, I just, I think of a lot of ideas playing with something like this. Um, there just, there's so many possibilities for what you can do with it, but um, it's a real source of inspiration for me. So that's it. Thank you.